Welcome to Lolita Laundry Day, where I show you that you actually can easily wash your Lolita and other J Fashion clothing without much issue. First, I start by just separating the colors like you would any normal laundry, you know, darks, colors, and I'll sort out that one bright red dress because that's going to get washed by itself by hand. All the other stuff I can wash together because those colors are color fast. Most newer dresses you can wash no problem in the washing machine. I'm going to show you how I do that right now. So we're headed down to the laundry room and I'm going to show you um, the setting I use. Um, this washing machine is an older machine but I always make sure I wash on cold regardless of color. Definitely. And I always miss turning this knob at least once. So, um, so we're putting a very small amount of soap in here very small and this soap is very diluted so I don't mind using it um, you'll see when I wash my socks later it looks like I'm using a lot of soap but I'm really not because it's very diluted this soap. Um, and you are going to want to turn your dresses inside out as you can see I'm doing now I forgot to turn the other dress inside out that I put in earlier so now I'm fumbling with one hand and the camera <laughs> trying to turn that dress inside out but yeah and that's it so now we're gonna head back upstairs I'm gonna grab our socks and I like to hand wash my socks because I, I can actually get to scrub the bottoms of the socks because I don't like dirty bottoms on my socks so I hand wash them you can just put them in the wash with everything else um, I usually do I put my dark socks directly in the wash because you can't tell if the feet are dirty or not, so I don't bother scrubbing them, so I just put them in the washing machine. But anyway, so you want to fill it up with, like, I use, like, lukewarm water. Not cold, but not hot or warm. And here is a collar that I have for one of my dresses that just has, like, some sweat stains and makeup. These socks had sock glue on them, so I'm making sure and scrubbing the top part as well as the feet of the socks. And what I try to do is to prevent using more soap than I need to is I'll put the soap on one sock and then I'll grab the other sock like the same part of that sock and rub them together if that makes sense you can kind of see what I'm doing here like I put the soap on this sock and then I grab the other one and I rub the two socks together so that way I don't have to put soap on each individual sock I think that's eyeliner I must have stepped on and doing my makeup that day that's stain it's never gonna come out but yeah, here when I open these up, you can kind of see how dirty those are. Those are going to get pretty clean. But these are the only pink ones I have like this. So I actually wear these kind of often. So these are only going to get but so clean. So I'm just scrubbing those. And I mean, I'm not scrubbing very hard. It does look very hard and vigorous because I sped it up. But, you know, I'm still being very delicate because I don't want too much like peeling and damage on the socks. Especially my brown socks try not to rub those up too much but I do want to make sure they're clean especially um, if I do ever decide to sell them at some point you know no one wants to buy dirty socks well I guess some people want to buy dirty socks I wouldn't want to buy dirty socks so I make sure they're clean and here I'm just giving them a quick you know like agitation like as they would get in the wash just to make sure I get all the dirt out that water is really gross look at that so draining that water out and um, throughout this process when you're getting the water out you want to make sure that you're just squeezing the water and not wringing or twisting because wringing and twisting that's what causes the stretching and deformities to be caused in the socks so just make sure you're squeezing and here I'm squeezing clean water through the rinse so out of the socks um, yeah so just squeezing and rinsing to set them to the side and then I'm going to use the water later to help reshape the socks before I hang them to dry and this is pretty much it this whole process I want to say maybe took me about 10 minutes so by the time I'm done this the dresses will be done in the washing machine because that's a short cycle I like to keep them on a short cycle in the wash so that way they're not hanging around too much in the water I'll show you guys another time how I wash more delicate dresses like dresses that may run older pieces etc but these newer items that I was washing don't really need much attention 
and um, I'll also show you guys how I spot stain, um, excuse me, spot treat if I need to spot treat anything. And you see, you just want to make sure that water is nice and clear, and I'm just going to use the water to get that nice halfway fold, you know, that side seam that the socks come in, just get them back in that shape, and fold them, and squeeze the water out. And then I'm going to line them up along the side, and then I'll show you guys just how I hang them up to dry on my drying rack. Very simple. Um, and then these take, you know, a few hours to dry, not long. Yeah, and that way you get nice clean socks. Your colors are nice and bright. Your dirt marks are all out. You know, yeah, no one wants dirty socks. Well, I'm, yeah, no one wants dirty socks. And it's just gonna keep that same energy. No one wants dirty socks. I don't want them, other people don't want them. Clean your socks, clean your clothes. It's really not hard. This whole wash day took me, I want to say, maybe about 40 minutes at max. And that was two loads of dresses because I had my dark dresses. And then that one red dress, I still haven't washed yet because it's just the one red dress. And I hate wasting that much water, even on a small cycle in the washing machine, to wash one dress. So I might hand wash that or just wait until I have any other pieces to wash it with. Here's my drying rack. I use my giant bathtub to hold my drying rack because I usually don't take bath in it because it's huge. It's a giant tub. But it works great to hold my drying rack so I can easily dry all my Lolita. <laughs> so I'm just going to flat lay everything across. You see how nice and that side seam is nice and crisp in there. Crisp. It's a crisp word. <laughs> so yeah just hanging those up and there's that back to the dresses we are not putting them in the dryer we're going to hang them up to dry now um, as you saw there wasn't any space on the drying rack so we just hang them up on hangers to dry in my laundry area if you don't have a laundry area like this you can always use your shower rack I don't have a like a tub shower with a shower rack to hang this up so here are the dark dresses I'm putting in these are like um, like sweatshirt kind of dresses, like jumper, like katsu. These are the ones from Bodyline. Um, so I turn these inside out also. I also put these in the dryer just on the air fluff for a little while when they're done because these tend to be very linty. They have this like black lint that goes everywhere. So I put them in the dryer just on the air fluff for a few minutes when they're done. I didn't show that part, but that's what I do. So here I'm hanging up my waist sides from that dress and my bloomers. Gonna put those here. Um, like my bloomers, I could probably put them in the dryer, but you know, I just have like a few pairs of bloomers, so I try to hold on to those as long as possible. So this one blouse, um, it went in the washing machine, but sometimes, you know, the armpits get a little funky. So, especially this blouse, I wear it quite often because it is like the only off-white blouse that I have. So, yeah. So we're just going in and just using some soap and further scrubbing those armpit areas to make sure that, you know, we're not walking around with funky clothes on, you know, and smelling bad. You don't want that. So wash your clothes. That's really easy. I'm showing you how. <laughs> Give that a nice squeeze the water out. Let the water drain and then make sure you rinse the soap out before you try to rinse your item with clean water. Just rinsing, 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 rinsing. This video is very fast, so like I don't have much time for my normal jokes and personality. <laughs> but you know, these are just good tips, you know, for people, anyone concerned about washing their clothes. And, you know, just like I said, a lot of newer pieces are really easy to clean. Um, most of the time they have uh, instructions on how to clean them, you know. So, that's all clean now. I'm going to hang that on my last little space on my drying rack. And that is it. I am done. Everything's clean and hung up. And that's my drying rack. These are all the dresses in the laundry room. And that one 
glass and yeah two glasses thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe i'll see you next week